I'm Rochelle Pagliosco. I am a partner of Pagliosco, Morales and Hersey. It is a Manila-based law firm. It's actually a full-service law firm. But personally, I focus on corporate law, uh, data privacy, tax, and now I'm in charge of the AI project of the office. So we're actually closely working with Straits Interactive uh, using their Capabara platform. We're basically focused initially on just introducing AI into our labor practice. We, we don't think that our purpose in uh, using AI in our practice is to reduce the headcount in the office. It's basically to reduce the workload. Because, uh, uh, sad to say, the workload of lawyers, and that's the reason why they leave, there's brain drain in the, in the law firms because there's just uh, so much work. What we have done is to have our own uh, database, which is, uh, has been placed in a secure server. It's not shared with anyone. So we're actually comfortable with the fact that uh, it's private for us. We have actually tried and tested it. Uh, of course, it's going to be a continuing uh, process of improvement. We'll try to always check the answers, teach AI, and uh, also get this uh, uh, AI project into our other uh, practice areas. That uh, certainly it cuts uh, the research time and the writing time. So we have, in fact, compared uh, the time needed to complete a particular research. It has been manually done, the old style way, traditional way by our associate. And we have uh, asked the same question to Capabara. Well, it's not surprising, but uh, it's amazingly uh, fast what our as associate was able to do in two hours. Capabara made it in one minute. And the output in terms of quality, we would say that they're actually comparable. In, uh, we're quite surprised actually uh, how accurate it has been considering that we're just uh, starting out and we have not even uh, tried to uh, educate it uh, in addition to the normal uh, features of Capabara. For lawyers, I think uh, there should not be any fear in uh, using AI in our practice as long as you're aware as to the limitations of AI. So you always have to review, double check, okay? Uh, it is a tool for, for doing research, for writing, but it does not replace the judgment that uh, every lawyer will have to exercise. And of course, uh, the practical inputs that uh, a lawyer is able to provide, which AI cannot.